Hey everybody, this is Bo again. I've got a, uh, I want to do a little video of something I've been creating. I'm uploading it, uh, I'll probably be uploading it in a couple weeks, but I wanted to make it today while I was, uh, while I'm going to be working on this little project. I took a break from my uh, rebinds. Uh, I only have a couple days off this week, so, but I, I couldn't work on rebinds because I'm working on this. We had a family member pass. Uh, my sister-in-law's uh, dog passed, so I've been uh, making it a headstone or a headpiece thing for the uh, for its little grave. So I did this is the vertical piece. You see the the uh, dog there on the top, and then this is uh, Hebrew for loved. If you reading left to right in Hebrew, um, it's uh, a huva there so um anyway and i did a little cool little checker uh checkerboard effect inside the burns there if you might be able to see that right there so you kind of see the checkerboarding in there anyway i'm gonna either leave that checkerboarding or smooth it out try to straighten the edges around and her name uh, was emma grace so i did this piece to go across the uh for the horizontal piece and it'll sit like that right there and it'll attach to a, a base piece that's going to go in the ground uh, so it'll it is going to be stained and lacquered it's going to look really pretty once it's all done just to help commemorate her but i wanted to smooth out some of these edges especially on her name you know up close you can really see where uh, when you go across grain when you're burning uh, the you can tell the different uh, wood strengths from the different seasons uh, some burn quick some burn slow so it gives you a little choo -choo -choo. It, it doesn't want to go smoothly so what I'm going to do I'm going to do a little trick uh, I'm going to use this tool right here to go through these burns and try to smooth them out and then I'm going to reburn them to try to get a, a smoother look so that's why i'm, I'm videoing this uh, i wish i'd actually videoed uh creating it what i did was it's pretty simple i, I printed off on a laser laser jet printer i printed off these designs and and uh and then cut them out you have to print them in reverse so you have to put them on like a a text box and then you can type them out whatever font and then you have to actually rotate the image to 180 degrees and then you can print them out and it'll be reversed. Uh, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. That's the only way I've done it. And then I, I put them on here and used uh, acetone to transfer the printed image onto the wood. So, and then once I transferred the image, it didn't transfer really good. Uh, I'm not sure why I had trouble transferring it. But it took a little, about 30 or 40 minutes to get it to finally show something, at least an outline for me to use to uh, to burn from. So anyway, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this really quickly to show you guys uh, kind of what what I'm going to be doing. And we're outside. Um, so if you hear my dogs or my chickens, then that's why you hear dogs or chickens. So. Uh, I've got my pyrography, my true art, a little cheap, I mean, 20 buck, $30 uh, pyrography pen, and uh, it's heating up. It's got two different settings, a 15 watt and a 30 watt. For, now you, if you're doing really careful work, 15, uh, but for this bit, it's so big, um, you probably need a 30 to really get it hot so you can go and you need to go per, pretty quickly that's why i want to go ahead and get this outline done uh so i can i can go through there smoothly so i'm just going to do this g and i'm going to take this tool and just kind of go over the you can hear it you hear it kind of scratching those grains i'm going to try to smooth this out a little bit so that when i go back through here it'll be a smoother pass all right And you can use uh, you can use a butter knife to do this. It's not a it's not a difficult 
it's not a difficult chore to do. And if you mess up a little bit, you can always sand the top of this down. And I'm gonna have to, you can see where the ink was left from when I did the ink transfer. Um, it kind of bled through onto the wood. So just remember, if you do an ink transfer, uh, that you'll have, you might have to sand over it to get this, this, uh, this stuff off. And then, uh, you know, go back over your burns or over your design. If you're going to be transferring, uh, to burn. So anyway, and I might, this might end up making these letters a little more bold and that's okay. So anyway, let's see how that goes. This might be hot enough now. You want to get, see this is, this is probably not the best table to do this on, but find a way to keep it steady and keep yourself steady. And when it burns some smoke, that's when you know you're doing good. And I, I do it just a little bit at a time. And there's some other guys that do pyrography way better than me. But uh, this is how I've found works best for me. At least to smooth out the initial, the initial uh, burn in, the initial outline. Especially these letters, these bigger letters, I want to make them a little more bold so you can see them from 20 or 30 foot away. Because her little grave is going to be, is about 20 or 30 foot away from uh, my sister-in-law's house. So... And again, I'm going to be uploading this in a couple weeks after we give this to her as a gift. So it's going to be a really cool gift for her to get. I'm, I'm just happy to be able to, to uh, do it for them. And no, I'm not going to be doing these as a side business. I'm not. I just don't have the time. All right, so I will show you how using that knife or using that tool and that's just a, a leather working tool that I use with my rebinds and uh, it makes a big difference now turning this tight corner with this big bit you might have to lean this this bit up on its end but there's a spot I didn't level out anyway you can see that line is much smoother that line for that G, hopefully you can see it from where I'm holding, is much, much smoother. So, and it's much bolder, but it matches where I did the the rest of grace there. It's it's more boldened, so it needed to be bold, bolder anyway. And the worst part where I got was right here, so I'm hoping to really smooth this out. And then I'll probably turn the video off, because that's really... This is really how I did the whole thing, uh, except I used a smaller bit to get the outline. But again, I had issues with the different grain lines. If you're going across grain lines, you need a you need a flat bit like that, almost looks like a chisel bit, um, so that you can you can cross those grain lines. I've used other bits when I did the outline, like this little pointy bit. It's little it's just a little pointy bit. It ended up getting so hot that it bent the it bent the tip so uh anyway um but you can get more of those it's not a problem but it, it's so small that it'll jump across the grains where this one just glides it's smoother and you can see i'm, I'm not really going flat i'm just i'm just gonna i'm just going one little tiny bit at a time and it creates that smooth line consistent in thickness and boldness now, if you were doing like a like shadowing where you'd have thicker sections, and I did that right here, this is a thicker section, this is a thicker section, then you might want to have to go over it twice. But I'm going to make it look really nice for my sister-in-law. She's going to really love it. And she has no idea about it either. It's hard to keep anything from, from fan. I don't like hiding. I don't like hiding stuff, but this is going to be something cool to kind of keep secret. And today, we're outside, you know, don't ever do this indoors unless you have a setup for ventilation. Um, but we're outside and it's about 40 degrees outside, so uh, it's nice and cool. 
That's probably why my chickens aren't aren't uh, making a bunch of racket right now. All right, so that's a much smoother line. I've got to get this this uh, curve in the G here. So that looks a lot better than it was. Uh, one of the other main, and I'm going to do the rest of this G, but for the purposes of this video, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you uh, how I'm doing this. And I always have have you a uh, pair of pliers when you're dealing with one of these, so that if you had to take off a bit, you're not trying to mess with it hot, and uh, and you're not <laughs> you're not burning yourself. So you can definitely see the difference. And how smoother, how much smoother that line is. I need to fix this part of the R as well. These smaller letters, I don't want to make such a bold line. But I do want to smooth it out. Better. All right, now um, another problem area was this big E. Now the MMA was, was decent and this section was okay. I do want to fix up these flowers, but I'm gonna use a different smaller bit for that. Um, but I am gonna show you this E as well. So at least this section is E. Now this section is, is actually okay because it's in the straight, it's in line with the grain. So there's no, there's no marks, but I do wanna get it the same boldness. So that's why I'm kind of going over. And you'll see some, some types of wood, some of this light wood uh, burns really quick. And then some of these dark lines that's where you have issues with it and not burning as quickly. And I can't remember the name, what, what they call that, but that's what we have. Yeah, these, these take a lot of time and, uh, and I know that they're, they're special, um, but I probably wouldn't, wouldn't do another one of these unless it was for my own pups just because it's it, it takes a lot of time you can see it it took a lot of time to put in these one for the ink transfer and then the uh, uh, the actual burning in is now uh, if I got better and better at it maybe it would, would not take me so long but it does it takes me a while and I'm and I, don't, I like for it to be done right so I'm probably gonna do like I'm right now I'm gonna go over it twice and it takes me even more time. Which I don't mind because it's my sister-in-law and I love them and, and I know they love their pup and I love their pup so it's it's worth it to me but I don't think I'd ever wanna do this for anybody else, um, at least not family because it's just not worth it to me. I could, I have so, so many other things I have to do. And this is, um, the type of wood this is is a uh, <clears throat> let's see what is this? This is cedar, and it is it smells awesome while you're burning it. So it's it's not it's not like it's not bad. If you're burning pine, it would not be it would not smell as good. All right, so you can kind of see what I'm doing here, just pressing down with this chisel bit. And kind of flattening out those areas that had that created the humps with the grain, and it really gives a much smoother line. Eventually, I'll learn how to do time lapse uh, time lapse videos, and you won't have to listen to me yammer. But you can fast forward if you're tired of watching this part. Much better. So what? Uh, if you're if you're watching this and you've lasted this long in this video, uh, what have you done with wood burning, or you know creatively? What have you done 
in commemoration of someone or or a, a pet or something like that if you have any cool examples let me know in the comments because I'd like to I'd like to know about it that's pretty cool and uh, actually this is an idea that my mother-in-law came up with and I uh, thought it was really neat and was happy to help help uh, see it through So I'm almost done with this E, at least the sections that look rough. Uh, it's still not perfect, but I'm not, this is not what I do normally. <laughs> so this is not my area of expertise, but I do enjoy doing this. And between Bible rebinding and, and, and my regular job, I just don't get a chance to do it very often. So it's pretty cool to get to help do something Especially something so meaningful. Emma, the pup that we lost, she was a uh, golden retriever and just really, really special dog. Uh, always sweet, one of the sweetest dogs. And uh, we do miss her tremendously. And, you know, I think dogs play a special role in our lives. We have two dogs now. We had a dog pass last year as well, so uh, really hits home when another family member loses a pet. I was happy to uh, help do that. Anyway, you kind of get the idea. I'll show you what the, the uh, updated work looks like. You can see the E is much bolder, and that top section of the G is much bolder. And that's what I'm going to do the rest of the, the rest of this E and G I'm going to make bolder. I'll probably leave the rest of these alone. I am going to clean up these flowers a little bit, maybe add a little detail. Um, but the dog's face, uh, I, I do want to smooth out a, a few lines on the dog's face, but I think I'm going to leave the Hebrew alone. I think it looks pretty good like it is. So uh, anyway, I know the video is getting long and, and uh, might be tired of watching already, but uh just wanted to make a quick video to kind of show you guys something else that I kind of do um, every now and then. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> let me turn it off and you can go about your day. So thanks for watching. And uh, if you like some of the content, I do Bible reviews and rebinds and all kind of stuff. So uh, check out in uh, this section down here, uh, there's a little subscribe uh, watermark. You can check that out and subscribe. So. Thanks again for watching, and uh, God bless.